we're going to put a wasp and a cockroach into this area right here and let them interact. We've also included glass vials here, and these will serve as makeshift burrows for the wasp. An unsuspecting host is first introduced to the arena. The roach is unaccustomed to threats from smaller animals. The stage for the battle is set, and the wasp is released. As soon as the jewel wasp senses a host, she will surprise her prey and use that brief moment to her advantage. She attacks. The wasp's first sting is brilliantly strategic, just enough to disarm the roach. The first time it stings it into the central nervous system and causes a temporary paralysis of the front legs. Venom hits the roach's nervous system in between its front legs, briefly paralyzing them. This allows the wasp to do a second, much more precise sting into the brain. The wasp twists its body around the roach so it can sting into its brain and inject the zombifying mixture. The roach's breathing slows. It makes no move to escape. This brain sting causes a dramatic behavioral change in the cockroach, basically turning it into a zombie. To regain some of the energy the wasp has lost through her stings, she clips the ends of the roach antennae and takes a drink of roach blood. Refueled, the wasp leads her zombie cargo to a burrow. But if the wasp can target her venom so well, why doesn't she simply deliver a death blow? Venom is used for defense, venom is used for feeding, but parasitoids use it for something totally different. They actually use it for reproduction. Inside the burrow, the wasp lays her egg on the roach. With survival of her offspring at stake, the wasp's precision now makes sense. Her young depend on the perfect execution of her sting. Now the wasp barricades the defenseless roach inside the burrow. For more than a week, the wasp venom continues to keep the roach calm and complacent, even as the newly hatched larva starts to eat it alive. From that single egg, uh, a larvae hatches and uh, after three days, it drills a hole in the, in the leg of the cockroach and gets its nutrition from the blood system of the still zombified cockroach. And now for natural selections test. Too little or poorly aimed venom and the roach could escape. Too much venom and it would immediately die, destroying the wasp offspring's fresh food source 